Coat version 4 has introduced some new customizations to the user interface that help enhance what was already there. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at how you might customize the UI previously and we'll compare it to these new features. Before 3D Coat version 4, you would have to go to the Edit menu, choose Customize UI, and now if you wanted to hide certain tools in order to condense the tool set, you would uncheck some of these tools and then go back to the edit menu choose customize UI and you see you have a much smaller set now to restore those you would have to go back to the same menu go back to the same menu item and uncheck these then go back and so on so that's not too bad but we have an improvement in 3D Coat version 4 you can choose in any one of these sections okay, to unhide any hidden tools. So I'll just hover over any one of these tools, choose Show All Tools in Section. You can see it now restores all of those. Okay, so again, it's only going to reveal or unhide whatever's in this subsection of the tool panel. It's not going to do it for the entire panel, and really that's what you want. So. Anyhow, let's say you want to hide on the fly without having to go into the edit menu here. You can just quickly right click and choose hide tool. Just that easy. And at any point, again, you just right click, show all tools in section, and so on. Now you'll notice you cannot rename a hard coded tool with base tools that are in 3D Coat version 4 but you can rename these by creating a duplicate and now you'll see you immediately have the ability to change the name so let's say if I wanted to call it clay soft now I can just right click and choose hide tool and I have effectively changed the name of that tool okay. It's still hard coded, it's still there, it's just hidden. Now, in Artman's preset, you have a clay brush that doesn't necessarily match with what you see over here in the tool panel. It can be a little bit confusing. So, if we wanted to fix that, we might change the name in the preset, Rapid Soft, something like that. Name it accordingly, however you want, in the preset panel. And again, we could do the same thing here. Okay, right click and choose Duplicate Tool. Clay Soft 2. Oops. And you can go back and rename quickly. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And yeah, so let's say I've already got these two named the way I want it. How I would reassign this preset from the old tool that I plan on hiding to the newly named tool is to simply click on the tool with a new name, come over to your preset, just right click and choose update preset. Okay, so I'm going to switch out of the tool, go back to it, and you'll see it is now linked to this newly named tool here. Very handy. So one might ask, what is the difference between presets and tools that you have here in the tool panel? The major difference is, again, that these are based off of tools you have here, and they have all the stored settings from your tool options panel. Some tools don't have any, some do. Your brush options panel, all your different settings here in your toolbar, your uh, shift action menus and so on, your e-panel settings, the types of brush modes or selection modes you may choose, the brush alphas that you're using and so on. So all these things that you could adjust or modify are stored here in a preset. This will stay fairly static or the settings for this will stay fairly static whereas this tool I can continue making adjustments 
and 3D Coat will memorize the last settings I had for that tool. Okay, so this one, if I want to change the settings permanently, then I would need to you know, make those settings and then right click and choose update preset. So that would reset these presets uh, to their new changes. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, again, if I wanted to, I can just delete the tool here and so on. All right, so I think that will conclude this demonstration of the new user interface enhancements in 3D Code version 4. Thank you for watching.